Sheldon, I mean, you remember the first few weeks we were looking for magnetic monopoles and not finding anything, and you were acting like an obnoxious giant dictator? But I thought we were going to be gentle with him. That's why I added the tater. And when we finally got our first positive data, you were so happy. Oh, yes. In the world of emoticons, I was colon capital D. <laughs> well, <clears throat> in actuality, what your equipment detected wasn't so much evidence of paradigm-shifting monopoles as it was static from the electric can opener we were turning on and off. <laughs> He just went golden capital O. You tampered with my experiment? We had to. It was the only way to keep you from being such a huge Dickensian. <laughs> you see that? I added the Enzian. <laughs> Did Leonard know about this? Leonard's my best friend in the world. Surely Leonard didn't know. Actually, it was his idea. Of course it was. The whole plan reeks of Leonard. <laughs> I missed you too. I couldn't think of anyone else while you were gone. Mm -hmm, me neither. Mm -hmm. Except for one night when the heat went out. <laughs> Long stories, don't ask. <laughs> Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. Do not make a sound. Whispering, do not make a sound. <laughs> it's a sound. Damn his Vulcan hearing. <laughs> Not a good time, Sheldon. Penny, Penny, Penny. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh. What? Hello, Penny. I realize you're currently at the mercy of your primitive biological urges, but as you have an entire lifetime of poor decisions ahead of you, may I interrupt this one? It's great to see you too. come on in. Wallowitz has informed me of your grand deception. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Yes, I feel terrible about it. I will never forgive myself. I don't expect you to either, and I would really appreciate it if you would leave me with Penny for a session of self-criticism and repentance. Okay, can someone please tell me what's going on here? What's going on is I was led to believe I was making groundbreaking strides in science, when in fact, I was being fed false data at the hands of Wallowitz, Kuther Polly, and your furry little boy toy. <laughs> Is that true? It was the only way to make him happy. Why did you have to make him happy? Because when he wasn't happy, we wanted to kill him. <laughs> there was even a plan. <laughs> we were going to throw his Kindle outside, and when he went to get it, lock the door and let him freeze to death. <laughs> That seems like a bit of an overreaction. No, the overreaction was the plan to tie your limbs to four different sled dog teams and yell, MUSH! <laughs> Look, we kept the original data. You can still publish the actual results. Yes, but the actual results are unsuccessful. And I've already sent an email to everyone at the university explaining that I have confirmed string theory and forever changed man's understanding of the universe. Oh, see, yeah, you probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so write another email. Set the record straight. It's no big deal. You're right, Leonard. That's not a big deal. All you did was lie to me, destroy my dream, and humiliate me in front of the whole university. That, FYI, was sarcasm. <laughs> I, in fact, believe it is a big deal. 